Hello, and welcome back to the channel. If you're new, welcome. Hi, I'm happy that you joined us on this very heartbreaking video where people are not only breaking up, they are breaking up at the altar. Probably the worst time to break up. <laughs> Why did you wait? So today we're gonna be looking at Reddit, people who got left at the altar or just couldn't go to their own wedding. Something happened between the whole time of we're so in love, we're going to plan a whole wedding to they get to the wedding and someone's like, no, thank you. I actually don't wanna do this. And weddings are expensive, at least a lot of wed weddings can be expensive. That's what I should say. So I've got my phone, I've got Frieza, special guest who's gonna be here for a while. And let's read some breaking up at the altar or being left at the altar on Reddit. Not quite at the altar, but I was left several weeks before my wedding. And by left, I mean fiance insisted he was stressed out with work and just needed some time. Okay, so I can kind of understand that. Maybe just, he's just so frustrated and just busy with work. You know, I get that. No hate at all. When in reality, he wanted to move his new pregnant girlfriend into our house while I was out of town. <laughs> okay, that I do not understand. That pisses me off. So the initial aftermath was indescribable. Frankly, about 85% of our wedding was set up. Calling and explaining this to vendors was a total blast. I know that was fun. I lived in and was getting married in the South. So if I never hear, oh, bless your heart again, it'll be too soon. Not to mention the crippling depression I fell into and loss of a whole life I had built with someone and trusted. Dude, that is devastating. The last video or maybe a future video whenever I post the last one or this one, we talked about how I had someone in my family have a whole ass another family in a different continent. Whole ass, some of you, I'm not even gonna say men. Some of you people are just bad people. Just break up and don't wait until like you plan a whole ass wedding. Okay, anyway, back to the story, I'm invested. I also had to deal with my family and his and our friends since he felt no reason to explain this to his side or anyone else. Oh, oh, that's fine. I'll explain the hell out of it. I'll make your whole family dinner and we gonna talk about it with receipts. I'll explain everything. That would work perfectly in my favor. I'm not gonna be the villain, you are. And I love playing the villain. I left my fiance a month before the wedding. Backstory, oh, this is the, the guy and why he left. Not the other guy, but just a guy who left. Backstory, I never actually proposed to her. She more or less did it to me. We were in a mall and she wanted to go to a jewelry store to look at engagement rings. I wasn't expecting to walk out there with one, but I, we did. The salesperson even took a just engaged Polaroid. <laughs> that probably was really fun for someone who didn't really wanna get married. That's why it's good to communicate your True feelings, but let's see what happened. She became more and more controlling and I couldn't take it anymore. After I left her, her friend texted me on the day of the supposed ceremony telling me the cake was delicious. Oh, I get it. Some one of her friends who was trying to be a little mean girl called and said, just so you know, <laughs> cake's delicious. That's what happened. That's kind of funny. <laughs> but like in his situation, I'd be like, what the fuck? Fuck you guys. My ex somehow managed to break into my email and asked me who a girl was in an email I received after I left her. Crazy. I could understand her reasoning if it was before, but it wasn't. She also texted me a while after I left and told me she missed her period. An hour later, I got another text and said, never mind. <laughs> that was probably a good reason to leave the old, to not walk down the aisle. A buddy of mine did this and we were his accomplice. Holy fuck, I can't believe this happened 12 years ago. Anyway, a buddy of ours was going to marry this girl he had known for a few years. He was expressing doubt, but racked it up to being nervous about marriage. The night before he broke down crying and thought he was making a mistake. We offered support and told him it would be okay. We said that if he didn't want to do it, he didn't have to, but we encouraged him to go through with it. Day of the wedding and everything is happening. The wedding has started and he is at the altar waiting. I don't know about other religions, but Mexican Catholic weddings have this moment before the bride comes out where it's quiet with anticipation and everything is just waiting. My buddy is sweating like a madman. My other friends and I notice and I think he is about to pass out. Then it happens. The groom starts rocking back. Oh shit, it's kicking. The groom starts rocking back and forth. He looks like he is about to faint and he slowly starts side shuffling. My buddies look at each other and just know what is about to happen. The groom turns to his right and starts heading to the side door. Some people in the church notice and they gasp. I would have gasped. I would have been like, oh my God, I forgot my popcorn because I would probably have known that this couple probably shouldn't have been together anyway. You know how you can kind of tell when some couple you're just like, 
why are you guys getting married? Because they wanna put on a show for everybody and they wanna have that like American life that you're supposed to get married so they kinda rush into it and you're kinda just like, I'll go to the wedding and eat the cake, but this relationship is horrible. And so I'd be sitting there like, happened a lot sooner. It's happening like at the wedding. I thought I was gonna, you know, go for two years and then the divorce would happen. You're getting the divorce before the marriage. Probably a good thing. He heads straight toward the sports car he had rented. We yell at him and he yells at us to get in and we do. <laughs> He turns the car on and starts making his way out of the parking lot as the people in church start to come out and yell. He takes off. We are yelling and screaming in the car and he has this dead serious look on his face. We end up in Vegas for the next few days. His phone is blowing up, but he never answers it. The dude ends up joining the military and leaves to boot camp just two weeks after all of this happened. He stayed with us couch surfing for two weeks and disappeared from his bride, her family, and even his. The bride was devastated, of course, but last I heard, she got married for reals this time and is very happy in her new relationship. Someone down here says, holy fuck. That would have been an awesome movie, right? Like some type of Adam Sandler shit. Wasn't me personally, but if anyone here has an objection, speak now or forever hold your peace. Woman in the back stands up and says, the groom can't get married as he is my husband. What? <laughs> How did she get in? Anyway, turns out the woman who objected and the groom were in fact married and tried to get divorced, but the divorce was never completed. So technically the groom was still married and the wedding did not proceed. <laughs> Someone at the bottom says, I'm just trying to work out who invited her. Yeah, me too. She doesn't even go here. Has that ever happened to anyone at a wedding? And do people still ask like if anyone here has an objection, speak now or forever hold your peace? Like I'm not even gonna give anybody the option if I decide to get married. I don't give a fuck if you have something to say. This is my wedding and obviously I'm going through with it. And if I didn't want to, then I would sprint out like that other guy to my sports car and just drive to Vegas. You don't get the option. That's weird, but has that ever happened at a wedding? I always wanted it to happen. It's my lifelong dream, that's kind of evil, but it's like my lifelong dream to just experience it and be like one of those people that gasp, <gasps> he's leaving her or she's leaving him. It's not working out. I knew it, I knew it, I told you guys, I knew it. Everyone tell me I'm right. Kidding, someone's marriage falling, falling apart kind of before it started. I left a man at the altar. I was in my dress and getting ready to go to the chapel when I realized I couldn't. I froze. I didn't love him as much as I craved the safety and security that being married would bring. Oh my gosh. That's why I like, I feel like a lot of people get married for those reasons. Security, image, they are freaking out because they're getting older and they're not married. Those times are over now. You can have security by yourself. You can have happiness by yourself. And then if someone is there, that is great that you love and wants to be with forever, or just one penis or one vagina forever then you get married or have an open relationship. My brother left his fiance a week before the wedding. Basically, as soon as he proposed, all she cared about was the wedding. He wanted a very small wedding and she wanted a huge one. She was also very religious. Her father is a preacher and he was not at all. How, why are you guys together? This never makes sense to me. Red flag number one, you do not care about religion, someone who extremely cares about religion, their parent is a pastor. It wouldn't work out. Like if I went with someone that was very religious, Sunday is my day to watch cartoons. Saturday morning Nicktoons leak into Sunday morning Nicktoons. Most religious people want to go to church. I don't want to leave the house normally. And I definitely don't want to leave the house on Sunday. So clearly, it wouldn't work. She told him she wanted him to become a deacon in her father's church, and he told her no. He didn't want to do that. Pretty much they were disagreeing on everything up to that point. Yeah, the religion is a big thing. He called it off. He said it was the hardest thing he's ever done, but he knew he made the right decision. And let's make this our last one. Haven't seen one from an arranged marriage set up, so here we go. I backed out a week before the wedding. We were engaged in February and the wedding was to be four months later. He had to leave the South Asian country where I lived, so our interactions were strictly over the phone, creepy. I would absolutely hate that. It's like the 90 day fiance shit where they just talk over the phone, meet each other and they're like, okay, well, let's get married. I don't know you. I also don't speak your language, but I'm going to put this ring on your finger. You're gonna marry me and you're gonna come back to America. And I still don't know how to speak your language. I'm not saying these people don't speak the same language. It's a arranged marriage, so I would, I hope they speak the same. I don't know, I, let's read. I am pretty sure I was a bit of a cunt. <laughs> 
in this situation. Talked to him very irregularly until the end of February, and then I just couldn't. Should have been a huge red flag to him that his fiance hadn't talked to him in three months. I didn't have the courage to tell my folks, so I just waited to see if he would back out. He didn't. And well, that's when I told him that I wouldn't be marrying him. After the invites had gone out and preparations were in full swing. I can't tell what exactly turned me off about him, that she didn't know him, but the people I talked to about this tell me it isn't reason enough. Maybe arranged marriages are just not meant for some people. Well, on that note, uh, it's very true. Arranged marriages are not for some people. I am people, I don't want people picking my penis. Do you? Do you want people picking your penis? Anyway, that is today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I love reading Reddit. I like to read it online. And if you have any Reddit things that you want me to read or react to, let me know in the comments section. I do read my comments for the first hour that I upload. Thank you everybody for being here. Thank you if you hit the subscribe button and thank you for just being so cute and adorable. Just so cute. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And I will see you guys next time. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Fit it up. Hop in my car and the giddy up. Get it up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Fit it up. Hop in my car and the giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Ooh, I've been on the flex since flex on. Neighborhood all in your edge.